Hello everyone. So this question is still not clear to many people, to many students. As I have received many comments on this question, please make one more video on it, right? So that's why I am making one more video on the same topic. And today I will explain you step by step VLAN flow, VLAN packet flow. Then only you can understand this question. So C question is very simple. If all ports of switch one are access port with VLAN 10, that means this one is my switch one and all port of switch one belongs to VLAN 10 and all ports are access port and on switch 2 all ports are access port with vlan 20 so what do you think can pc1 ping to pc3 so many people are saying that no pc1 cannot ping to pc3 and many people are saying that there is concept of native vlan so i must tell you guys there is no any concept of native vlan right and the function of native vlan is tagging will not perform on trunk link for the special type of VLAN that is known as native VLAN. So by default native VLAN on both switches uh, VLAN 1 right. So there is no any concept of native VLAN because native VLAN concept will come in scenario when I will configure the link between switch 1 and switch 2 as a trunk link right. There is no any role of native VLAN with access port right. So as you can see here guys this is my youtube channel on my youtube channel i have uploaded this video and here you can see there are multiple comment right sir you have shown the practical but didn't explain it why it why this is happening okay so mr rahul today i will explain again right and hope today you will understand each and everything after that mohabbat anis is saying that uh, waiting for the answer so yes i have already said answer but you didn't get it don't worry today you will get after that here you can see sir why it's happening kindly make another video for it okay so you didn't said why it's uh, pinging okay so many comment like this so today i am going to first of all i am going to show you practically uh, theoretically first of all i will make you understand theoretically uh vlan packet flow after that i will show you practically in packet tracer as well that how pc1 can ping to pc2 i will configure same scenario in packet tracer okay guys so let's begin without wasting our time so here suppose i have to switch first of all let me draw the diagram suppose this one is switch one and this one is switch two okay here are some pc1 pc2 and pc3 just for the other pc in the same way the pcs are connected to switch two as well so i can connect this all devices together like this And as you know, switch maintain MAC address table for one packet, right? So this one is my switch one. Okay. This one is my switch one. This one is switch two. This one is PC one. PC one. And IP address of this thing is 10.0.0.1, .0 .0 .0 .0 .1, I think. So let me check again. IP address is, yes, 10.0.0.1 slash 24. And IP address of this machine, PC3 is, PC3 is 10.0.0.4 slash 24, right? This port is, Suppose this one is F0 slash 4, F0 slash 4, and this port is member of which VLAN? VLAN 10, right? Like all ports of this switch, right? All ports belongs to VLAN 10, and all these ports belongs to VLAN 20. So here, let me write, these ports are VLAN, in VLAN 20, these ports are in VLAN 10 right this port is vlan 20 this port is member of vlan 20 this port is member of vlan 10 fine and as you know switch maintain mac at this table so suppose this one is mac at this table of switch 1 and this one is mac at this table of switch 2 fine guys okay so when pc1 will ping to pc3 see this one is mac at this table of switch 1 let me write here mac address table of switch one and this one is MAC address table of switch two. Okay. MAC table of switch two. Let me write it over here. This one is MAC address table of switch two. Fine. Now see guys when PC1 will pin to PC3. Source IP will be what? Source IP will be 10.0.0.1. Pick. Right? C. When I will ping from PC1 to PC3, what will be the source? Source will be 10.0.0.1. 
10.0.0.1 and destination will be 10.0.0.4 am i right at layer 3 source ip will be 10.1 and destination ip will be 10.4 at layer 2 source mac will be what mac address of pc1 is suppose a and mac address of this pc is suppose b so source mac will be a and destination mac so so pc1 will find destination mac in their arc table right but suppose in their arc table there is no any entry for uh, the mac address of 10.0.4 so this machine will generate what arp a r p arp request in arp request source mac will be a and destination mac will be broadcast all app so this arp packet will received by this switch on which port on this port on this port suppose this one is 0 slash 1 this one is 0 slash 2 and this one is 0 slash 3 so on 0 slash 1 switch will receive this frame r frame right first function of switch is address learning first of all switch will learn mac address right they will make entry in their mac address table that on my 0 slash 1 port a device is connected whose mac address is a and that port is member of which vlan that port is member of vlan 10 after that this switch will check what destination destination mac so destination mac is all f broadcast so this switch will forward this broadcast frame from all of its port which belongs to vlan 10 which is member of vlan 10 so it will forward from this port also it will forward from this port also and it will forward from this port also right so simply these two pc will drop the packet right and when switch 2 will receive switch 2 will receive that r broadcast request at this port suppose this one is again 0 slash 4 and this port is member of which vlan vlan 20 first of all this switch will also learn source mac address that on my 0 slash 4 interface a device is connected whose mac address is a and that port is member of which vlan vlan 20 then the switch will check destination destination is broadcast so it will forward from all of its port which is member of vlan 20 because i am receiving the frame on a port which is member of vlan 20 so i will forward this uh, frame from the port which is member of same vlan only right this is rule of vlan okay so it will forward from this port it will forward from this port it will forward from this port these two machine will simply drop the packet right frame and this machine will generate reply r reply because see target ip address is 10.0.0.4 in our request target ip will be 10.4 right so this machine will generate reply r reply arp reply in reply source mac will be b and destination mac will be what a from where this frame is coming so frame is coming from a device with mac address is a now this pc will forward to switch now this time switch will receive this frame on this port suppose this one is 0 slash 1 port so again switch will learn source mac address first of all so it will make entry in their mac address table that on my 0 slash 1 port a device is connected whose mac address is b and that port is member of which vlan that port is member of vlan 20 then switch will check destination so destination mac is a after that to forward this frame this is unicast right this this time this frame is not broadcast this time this frame is unicast so this switch will look up their mac at this table to forward this frame to pc whose mac address is a so it will check their mac address table and here you can see in their mac address table there is one entry that for a device whose mac address is a port is 0 slash 4 then is this port member of same vlan vlan 20 because i am receiving the frame on port which is member of vlan 20 and yes exit interface is also member of same vlan so it will forward from this port now this time if this port is not a member of vlan 20 it will not forward from this port or maybe if this link is trunk link if you will configure trunk right then it will not communicate pc1 cannot ping to pc3 because on trunk link whenever switch will forward traffic it will perform tagging because vlan 20 is not native vlan right so if this switch will add tag then switch one will came to know that this is a frame this is a frame of vlan 20 right and the port which uh, connects the device whose mac address is a is member of vlan 10 right so simply switch will switch one will drop the frame so that's why i have configured access port on both switch so switch two will forward from this port and again when switch one will receive on this port it will make entry right first of all switch will learn source mac address so this time switch will learn mac address on 0 slash 4 port mac address is source mac in packet is in frame is b so b and this port is member of vlan 10 okay so according to switch this is frame of vlan 
10 and according to switch 2 this is a frame of vlan 20 so switch 1 will forward from this port am i right because switch 1 is receiving a frame on 0 slash 4 which is member of vlan 10 so switch will check their mac address table and in their mac address table there is one entry a device whose mac address is a connected to 0 slash 1 port and that port is member of vlan 10 so it will forward from this port in the same way icmp packet will also flow right and now guys hope it's clear to everyone so answer of this question is yes pc1 can pin to pc2 let me show you practically that will make you more clear see here let me open packet pressure and let me design similar for this uh let me have to switch this one is switch one so if i switch two let me delete switch zero fine and we need to drag some pcs so here c123 okay now let me connect these devices together This is my scenario, right? Connect switch one and switch two as well. Fine. Uh, let me zoom it. Okay. Now port is receiver. Okay. So rearrange. Fine. This PC zero is connected to zero slash one. Let me configure IP on PCs. So here IP address will be ten dot zero zero dot one. Subnet mask will be two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero. Okay. Here also configure IP will be ten dot zero zero dot two. Submit mask will be 255.255.255.0 and here also let me configure IP 10.0.0.3 submit mask is 255.255.255.0 configure IP over here 10.0.0.4 and 255.255.255.0 and uh, here also let me configure okay my problem dot zero zero dot five and here two five five dot two five five dot zero. Okay, now let me configure switch one first. So here I am going to create one VLAN VLAN ten interface config VLAN ten. After that interface range fast Ethernet zero slash one two zero slash one two four and uh, switch port mode access. Switch port access VLAN 10. So all ports are member of which VLAN of this switch. So VLAN brief. Here you can see all active ports are member of VLAN 10. Let me do same thing on switch 2 for VLAN 20. So here enable config T and VLAN 20. After that, interface range fast ethernet to 0 slash 1 to 4 and switch port mode access switch port access vlan switch port mode access and switch port access of vlan 20 right guys here also you can verify all active interfaces are member of vlan 20 here you can see right now if i will show you mac address table so mac address table here you can see there is no any entry in mac address table of switch 2 let me do same thing on switch 1 let me show you mac address table of switch 1 as well here i also show mac address table here you can see there is no any entry in mac address table of this switch on pc0 if you will check arc table so arc or I think command is a r p minus a. So here you can see no r entry form. So there is no any entry. Now let me ping 10.0.0.4. So see, this machine is able to ping. So first of all, answer is yes, this machine can ping, right? Now if you will check r table here, see now in arc table you can see there is one entry right so mac address of pc4 is this one right this one and you can check mac address table of this piece uh, sorry mac address of this pc as well go to interface fast ethernet zero and here you can see mac address let me copy it and let me paste it over here see this is mac address of this machine and this one let me copy the mac address of this pc as well so zero and here, uh, let me paste it over here. Okay. 
So this one is MAC address of this PC, PC0, and this one is MAC address of PC3. Now in the MAC address table of switch one, you can see there is one entry. So MAC address table, right? Guys, see. This MAC address, I am talking about which MAC address, MAC address of PC3, this one, right, is connected on which port, on 0 slash port, which is member of which VLAN, VLAN 10, that means according to switch 1, according to switch 1, this machine is in VLAN 10, and according to switch 2, this machine is member of VLAN 20, so on switch 1, you can see source, this one, source is MAC address of PC1 in last 4, 6 here this MAC address. This MAC address and this one is destination. So this is source MAC and this one is destination MAC. Both belongs to same VLAN, right? So that's why switch 1 will forward uh, a frame to switch 2. In the same way on switch 2, if you will check MAC address table here, see, so MAC address table See both ports switch source and destination belongs to VLAN 20. That means according to switch 2, both devices, source devices and destination devices belongs to VLAN 20. And according to switch 1, both devices, source and destination belongs to VLAN 10. This is the reason why this PC is able to ping this machine. So this is one of the interview question and tricky question. So that's why definitely we are not using these concepts in real time, but definitely interview will ask you to check your knowledge. Okay, so now if it's clear to you, please let me know in comment. And if uh, you have a still doubt, right, please let me know in comment. I will make one more video, no problem at all. And guys, if you are interested uh, for live training, so you can enroll for my upcoming batch, which is going to start from 1st of January. Timing will be 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. And the cost for this training is just 7,000, right? $80, $80, right? Not much amount. Okay, so thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Meet soon in next video. Till then, stay safe.